So today, since I broke the 360 camera yesterday, I'm gonna have to drink my sorrows. But because we want to entertain ourselves as well, we're gonna play some mini golf. Previously on day 273 part 1 we started the morning off with some delicious cider tasting at the Harvest Cidery situated right in the centre of Gisborne. But to break up our day of drinking as we're heading to the vineyard later this afternoon we decide to have a round of mini golf at one of the most hilarious golf courses of the country. And now for the continuation of day 273. This morning we arrive at the Milton Vineyard which is located only a very short drive away from Gisborne and the main claim of fame of this vineyard is that this is the first biodynamic vineyard in the whole country. The first thing we notice when we arrive at the Milton Vineyard is the amazing setting. Beyond the gardens is the cellar door full of old French oak barrels, lots of candles with the wax dripping. It creates a really lovely atmosphere. After checking out the cellar, we're invited for a quick behind the scene tour. So Simon just asked us if we want to check out how they make their wine. So obviously we're not saying no, right? Simon, which is our host today, is providing us a very informal tour of their behind the scene. It really feels like no two tours are the same with him. He's really answering just our questions and walking us around introducing us to all the workers, pointing us out a few of the particularity of their process and their labeling. It's just really informal and really fun. I personally feel that I learned a lot during this tour because it's that informal. He's just answering the question that I have. He also takes the time to introduce us to a few of the really important people of this winery, mainly the son of the owner, which is in charge of their whole calendar, which apparently is really critical at the way they're making wine here. After our behind the scenes tour, we are going back to the cellar door and we're on to the good stuff, which is tasting the Milton wines. We are trying all sorts of different wine varietals from Chenia Blanc, Chardonnay, Gertrumina, Viognier and Syrah. And I apologize for my awful pronunciation. I kind of feel like being French, I should have been the one telling you all the different varieties of wine that we're trying, but that's just much funnier if I let Laura try to butcher those awful French words. Out of all the type of wines that we are trying, two of them actually stand out. The first one is Chenin Blanc, note the pronunciation, because this is one of the only winery in the entire country that actually does this kind of wine. It's really different than most of the other white wine that you can try in New Zealand. The other variety that stands out is the Chardonnay, just because it's one of the Gisborne classic, and that's one of the things that this region does the best. After quite a few glasses, Simon starts telling us a little bit more about the biodynamic and organic culture that they have going on right here. It involves a lot of different little details and there is even the head of the winery that comes along and tells us more about it. This complicated process basically involves dry farming and no insecticide, no herbicide, no fungicide, no soluble fertilizer and basically everything here is done by hand. And on top of that, they also use astrology to predict when they should do what around the vineyard. It sounds absolutely insane. But after the lesson, we are now trying our first and only red wine because we are moving on to some tasting because you know what goes well with wine, right? Awesome food! Outside in the garden, we're tasting a delicious cheese and meat platter to go along with a glass of our favorite wine from the wine tasting. We're surrounded by beautiful trees and beautiful plants and there's even a water fountain nearby which the native birds absolutely love. We are quickly surrounded by gorgeous little fantails which are bathing themselves after a hot day in the Gisborne sun. And it's that Gisborne sun which makes this region so good for growing grapes. It's a perfect way to end our day trying loads of delicious foods like different types of cheeses, blue cheese, soft creamy cheese, different types of meats as well to go on top of toasted homemade bread. Tomorrow we're going to be doing something completely different which is instead of feeding ourselves we're going to be feeding wild stingray on the coast so make sure to join us then. And tomorrow we are heading to feed some stingrays and then we are going to spend the night in the Maori Pass site. That's going to be pretty epic. See you tomorrow.